That breaking news is from Jefferson County, where the human remains found in the woods Friday in the town of Concord are that of Kelly Dwyer. Lacey Chris has been following the story. She's live in the newsroom now with the latest. Lacey, what can you tell us? Yeah, I just got off the phone with the deputy chief sheriff there in Jefferson County, and he did confirm for me that the dental records matched up from the body that was found, the human remains found in the town of Concord to that of Kelly Dwyer. Now, those remains were found Friday evening by someone walking through the area. They suspected that they had been there probably a year and a half to two years. And of course, the speculation began at that time. Could it be Kelly Dwyer? The time frame matched up in talking to the investigators. They uh, had the search area from anywhere from Milwaukee to Madison. So they kind of said that that was one in one of their key areas of interest. So, of course, there was a lot of... Um, guessing going around for this case whether this body found would be Kelly Dwyer and of course we're getting information today just released in the last couple of minutes here that that body found in Jefferson County is that of Kelly Dwyer. All right, Lacey Chris reporting live from the newsroom. Thank you. We do want to note that uh, there will be a news conference. Jefferson County will be telling us more. Uh, I don't know how much more details they can provide, but they're going to have a news conference tonight. We're hearing 6.15-ish. And things had advanced very rapidly in the past 10 days or so. The Dwyer family hiring a public relations firm to be a spokesperson for the family. They also acquired a private investigation firm that was supposed to lead searches of areas they believed Kelly's remains may be found. We were told over the weekend after these remains were found in Jefferson County that this place near Concord was an area they were interested in looking but they had not been there yet. So things had come together on the family side but then somebody stumbled across these remains in this field that have now been positively ID'd as Kelly Dwyer. 615, yeah. we'll get more information. She's been missing since October of 2013, 27 years old. And of course, Chris Zacco was uh, sentenced in January. He's the last person of known to see Kelly Dwyer alive. They had some type of a relationship. Some say boyfriend, girlfriend. Some say they dated. He was sentenced on child porn and uh, keeping a drug house. Nothing related, though, to her disappearance or death. We'll have more details as they come into the newsroom and again that news conference later tonight. Right now